Well, it's a first alert he day here at KDKA, and of course, we have been hearing about this big snow coming, but it's really hard to imagine that when today was so gorgeous out. Yeah, you look outside today, there was sunshine, warm temperatures. I even turned the AC on in the car as I was <laughs> heading into work, and there are people um, all over Point State Park enjoying it right. Uh, right now, but some big changes ahead, and meteorologist Ray Petlin, you're here to tell us all about it. Yeah, when you get in your car, quickly turn off the AC and turn on the defroster, because okay. that's how this is going to go. We get a couple of seasons in just a couple of hours is how this is going to work out. Clouds starting to spill over the sky here in Pittsburgh. You might be able to see the faint glow of the Gulf Tower starting to light up in red for our first alert. And here's how it's going to go over the next couple of hours. Our temperatures are going to start to fall. And by the time we're at about 9, 10 o'clock, we're going to have a little rain around spotty for most spots. And then it quickly changes over to snow and stays snow through the night. So we are going to see a quick changeover and our temperatures are going to continue to drop throughout the remainder of the night. We're already starting to see some of that snow on the radar. You look up into spots like uh, Mercer County, the extreme northern parts of it there up into Crawford County. We're around Meadville seeing that snow starting to take over and then back into Ohio. So it's not far away and it's going to continue to build towards us. So this Satellite and radar image is about as nice as we're going to be between now and Sunday. And when it comes to Sunday, plan on some cold temperatures extending over there. So we are looking at a widespread three to six inches of snowfall tonight. And the heaviest of the snow is going to be falling pretty much uh, between 11 o'clock midnight and about 6 a.m. And on either side, it'll be a little more broken up. It will remain cold and windy for the remainder of Saturday with even some lake effect snow showers trying to develop in a few spots. So Futurecast is going to time this out for us. Here's that rain I showed you in the forecast. It's kind of spotty when it comes down to it at 9, and then by the time we're at 11, this quickly changes over to snow, and this is widespread snow. We're talking from Somerset to Uniontown, back to Wheeling, up to Newcastle, Franklin, Dubois, Indiana, all getting the snow and everywhere in between. This continues through 4 a.m., and this is where we're getting probably the last of the, the steadiest widespread snow because once we get to 5, 6 o'clock, it starts to break up a little bit and shift further to the east. So the ridges, they're still getting it at this point, but we're starting to see it break up for some of our northern communities by 7 a.m. And then by about 9, 10, we're going to see more spotty type snow for Pittsburgh and north, south of I-70. We're talking to you, Uniontown, Washington, Waynesburg, uh, back into Somerset, even Greensburg, still some snow showers hanging on. And then some lake effect tries to take over afterwards. So when all is said and done, three to six inches is not out of the question from Pittsburgh off to the east. That does include uh, areas of New Kensington, Greensburg, even more so up into Indiana where six inches or more is possible. Connellsville, um, three to six inches. You go into Washington, three to six. As you go to Beaver, two to four is what we're looking for there. Same deals for Cranberry, Mars. And in addition to that, we're going to see our temperatures dropping off quickly. And it's going to be very, very cold with wind chills approaching zero at times on Saturday. So bundle up tonight. This is where it starts to change over. We get that quick change from uh, rain to snow, and then we keep that snow going into tomorrow with those temperatures continuing to fall uh, for highs tomorrow during the daytime. We're going to spend most of the time with temps in the low to mid 20s, but wind chills down into the teens. It is going to be cold. Now Sunday, still cold temperatures, but things are starting to warm up. And then we do actually warm up for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday next week. We have the 50s for Monday and Tuesday, mid-60s, Wednesday, and even St. Patrick's Day, Friday, 70 degrees. So very warm temperatures next week, and anything that falls will be melted by this. But we have one winter-like weekend ahead of us.